My video for February the 1st, 2020 is number 3,363. The title is Just Say Yes or No. For many years, I have been part of group discussions on topics of interest. For some of those, I was the moderator. In others, someone else moderated the discussion. Last night, I was cut off by my friend who was moderating the discussion and told to just say yes or no without giving an explanation. I could not believe it and reacted by walking out of the group. Perhaps that was an overreaction, but in light of the fact that others were given free reign to express themselves, I felt slighted. There are These are my friends. I did not and do not understand why giving an explanation would be seen as unacceptable. This is not the first time I felt as if I was being censored. It's not a good feeling, and I am ready to walk away from all discussions on spiritual matters. One of the issues for me and others is the feeling of isolation, or more specifically, being alone and not in a loving relationship. Yes, I've been burned in the past, and apparently wounds, the wounds, are not yet healed. Humanity has been wounded, and it is obvious to me that the wounds have not been healed. Humanity seems to be divided into warring camps and claiming superiority for whatever reason seems appropriate. Can this sad state of affairs ever be resolved on earth? Will it take some level of divine intervention? If so, how can that be applied to result in the healing of the masses? <laughs> oh, I almost even hate to even make this video, to be really honest with you. I am feeling frustration and not at all at peace because I'm struggling wanting to see the promises that I believed all my life were my life mission the promise of helping to bring the kingdom of heaven to earth as I've repeated over and over and over again but when friends can't even sit around a table and talk about things without cutting each other off or pointing a finger and saying you're wrong or shut up or whatever. I mean, I find, I find that very troublesome and it weighs on my heart and I guess my soul because I'm, reaching a point in my life where I feel like I don't have perhaps a lot of time left. I have no idea how long I'm going to live, of course. I'm not completely unhealthy, but yet there are still symptoms that I suffer that indicate that I'm not all well either physically. And maybe I'm not all well mentally. I, I don't even know anymore, or spiritually for that matter. Am I well spiritually? I try to build bridges. I try to learn and as much as I can expose some of the issues that divide and separate us, preventing us from reaching a level of understanding and peaceful reconciliation. It seems absolutely insane to me. When we place limits on ourselves and on each other, trying to control the flow of information and prevent opening up to the point where we can actually begin to understand where the other person is coming from. 
I'm sure I'm guilty of some of that myself. I can't understand some of my own friends that seem to be, you know, divided on things that are important and fighting over things that may be less important. I don't know. What is the priority system? What does it mean? What does any of this whole charade that's going on and been going on on this planet for such a long time, what does it all mean? Is there a purpose? Is there a, a, a destination that we're moving toward? Or will the wheels just keep spinning and going nowhere? Like a, a mouse on a, what do you call those wheels that the mouse just keeps running and the wheel just keeps going around and around? <laughs> Are we like the mice on that wheel? Is it a roulette wheel? I, I don't know what, what, what that's called, the, what I just described. But I sometimes I feel like just throwing in the towel. I don't mean committing suicide. That's not what I mean by that. I just want to get away from the dissension. I'd like to find a partner, a romantic partner that I could dance with and, and spend time with and hold hands with. <laughs> My goodness. Part of the problem is I have friends that are having those loving relationships. And I have other friends who, like me, have not reached that level yet, have not been able to find the significant other that is willing to share at a deeper level and help us feel complete or at least better. <laughs> oh, you can see that I'm struggling. I'm really struggling with this because I want to be connected with people. I want to be able to feel and not just feel, but know that I'm making a difference, a positive difference. I have to admit, I don't know how. I don't know how to bridge the gap between where we are and where I'd like to see us going. And even more than going, becoming the kind of people that can bring solution and resolution to the very divisive matters that we are plagued with as humanity. I would like to think I'm not just taking it personal, but seeing the bigger picture and trying my best to stand on behalf of the whole human race. I'd like to see God be the loving father and not an absentee parent who stands back and doesn't get involved. I'd like to see involvement by my creator, by our creator. I'd like to see heaven brought to earth, not escape from earth. I don't want to just escape. I want to be transformed and I want to see humanity transformed. Is that not an admiral goal? I think it is. It's very admirable to want peace, but war has been the name of the game far too long. Thank you folks for listening and namaste.